How National Assembly clerk misinformed Tinubu and almost got president to sign unapproved law. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The clerk of a National Assembly made a false claim about a resolution of the House of Representatives and almost caught President Tinubu to sign the bill into law. They don't even tell us the kind of bill. These, these people, these news people said, oh. They did not tell us, oh, this is the bill they signed oh, into law. This is what the, this is the clerk. You understand? They did not tell us, ah, this is what the clerk said, oh. This is not what the clerk said, oh. Look at the law that they almost signed into, the bill they almost signed into law. This is not the bill. This news information is half baked information. That they are giving to us now. We would like to know what is the kind of law. I mean, what is the bill? Hope the bill was not to bring more misery to already. Um, hope the bill was not to bring more misery to Nigerians that already, you know, that already suffering. <laughs> hope it is not. Or hope it is the bill. This one they say they stopped it. Hope the bill was maybe if this kind of bill now if it even be say now even be we go even help Nigerians because our politicians, hmm, our politicians and those in power, they don't have anything that is going to make them benefit. As it's going to make them lose or make Nigeria benefit, no. Anyway, anyway we go see such bill. May you not say the National Assembly people maybe a mistake or they're not aware. This thing what they tell you, not truth. Not truth that they tell you so. Maybe the bill was maybe to make Niger go make the go give us a breather, as we know if he breathes. With everything going on in the country, if we tell us oh now this type of bill oh now this particular type of bill oh or see what is contained in that particular bill and the person. Which law or bill is that that the clerk wanted the president to sign? You want to know exactly. You may want to know too. And believe you me. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Is anyone surprised? Their megaphone, Sheikh Gome has made their minds down. They are they will do they will do whatever they can to mislead and to sign on his own debt warrant if he's not careful. I don't understand. How do you how you use join this news to go me? <laughs> so people eh, they did not give us a particular bill. They did not tell us the name of the bill. They are coming out and they are mentioning Gumi's name. Onto what? Onto what now? Wow. But how can you come down such a conclusion quickly? Just somebody woke up in the middle of the night and fabricated a story and you jump into conclusion without even finding the true part of the story. This is a very bad threat that Nigeria has. This is myopic. I don't know what is wrong with you. I'm telling you, this thing that they said now, we do it a lot. We hear news, we jump into news without finding out the truth of the news or not. And it is wrong. Whether I like it or not, you should know that by now the media is unreliable. Whether I like it or not, do you know the politicians control what gets to the media, what the media says? Do you know? So if you hear any kind of news, eh, you've confirmed that oh this news oh, is true before you come outside and start proclaiming the gospel of the news, or before you come outside and start eh, saying this particular thing is not okay. Nigeria is no longer Federal Republic of Nigeria anymore. It is now Federal Republic of Nara China. Why is it that anything that concerns this present government of President Bola Tinubu always fake or false as information on it? A system whereby 100% of politicians today in Nigeria are 75% of Yahoo politicians. And that is why things can never be right until Nigeria and Nigerians get a new system. If not, Nigeria will remain in darkness. I don't hear him. Nigeria mean in that night, if you people continue to do that, okay, let us manage, let us pray, let us hope. Huh? This is our situation, don't pass, let us hope. Oh. Our future generations, children, 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 and children, 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 they are looking up to us to make sure that they have a better country. 
it is going to be shameful of after you come outside and give plenty plenty excuse that we could not give them a stable country it is going to be a failure on our part so it's time for us to buckle up hmm? Very untrue spirit is bound to happen in this region because its foundation is not clean. Of course now. Very, very. You think the foundations are clean now. Nah. Before you think about something and you know talk about it, you will talk say ah, you, there is this kind of atmosphere that you are going to have or that I don't I, I, I don't know how to say it. There is God's hand in the foundation, else he will not heal without signed it by mistake. You think so? You'll never go here with him be deceived with the one side. What do you expect from a country that the laws are not working? Are not working on the rich? It is only on the poor that are in prisons with small crimes. But all these big men have liquidated the country, while some of them are even referred to as sponsors of terrorism, as alluded by the CGN, are free. No kinds of law for them to be punished. Or even banned from holding public offices so long as our laws remain weak or they are a toothless bulldog as there are more grievous crimes coming i tell you i kid you not now i don't understand where you are even getting it from can somebody just tell us what um can somebody even tell us what kind of bill now, the clerk of the National Assembly made a false claim about the resolution of the House of Rep and almost got president to remember to sign the law. At least may they give us now. May they give us the news. Let us understand. Let us get where, which was what was the thing. In my mind now, do you know what I'm feeling? I'm saying this is very possible that particular news that you want to. That particular news that was, you know, was almost signed was going to be beneficial us Nigerians. I kid you not. I'm telling you. It is very possible. It is very, very possible. 